Hello, I'm here with Elisa Colangeli, and I'm so happy to have you here. I finally got your name right. <laughs> and You're great. You're doing great. <laughs> oh, that's so good. And you are an artist, a figurative artist, and I'm dying to hear a little bit more about that. So would you please introduce yourself? Okay, good uh, evening, everyone. I'm very happy to be here. My name is Elisa and I am from Italy. I am 41 years old, even if I feel like a girl. <laughs> like a girl. <laughs> Age is just a number, isn't it? Yes. And uh, as Trine said uh, just one moment before, I am an artist and I paint portraits. Mm -hmm. Especially I am interested in painting women portraits, mm -hmm. uh, not uh, mm, focusing only on the physical appearance, so mm -hmm. achieving a sort of likeness, but I'm mainly interest, be interested in painting the soul. So I try really to put all the passion and emotions and also the story of the single person on canvas. Oh, perfect. That's... I've been, yes, <laughs> I've been starting painting about three years ago now. Mm. And I, at the beginning, I really didn't have a direction. So I just went from landscape to um, uh, to people and then uh, trying all the stuff. And then I realized that my real interest was painting people. Mm. And obviously it has a re there is a reason for this. And the reason is that because I am an highly sensitive person. And that's why I'm here, basically. Yes. So thanks for the invitation. Yes, thank you for taking me up on it. I like what you say about painting people and painting their soul. I guess you sort of capture their essence in a way. Yeah, yeah. All women are, you know, multifaceted. And mm. we, men think about ourselves as multitasking because we are wives, we are, you know, um, caregivers. Mm -hmm. We are professionals because I, I am an engineer in my full-time job, as I, okay. as yes. I point out usually. And we have so many things, but they are, these are labels and no one yeah. cares about who we are. So we need to discover at first who we are mm -hmm. to represent this to other people and to the people around us to yes. start with. Yes. And that's... Uh, the the research and the approach is uh, really based on having conversation with customers. Mm -hmm. I could limit myself by asking a reference. No, yeah, yeah. who knows? Who cares? Basically, mm -hmm. if you yeah. want to to work fast, I can I can stop with that. But um, on the contrary, I want to get to know the person that mm -hmm. commissions me a portrait. So I want to spend some time uh, looking at each other on Zoom, like we are doing right now. For yeah. example, I want her to uh, to give me really um, uh, the story of her family, uh, the memories, you know, the dear memories yeah. and the favorite song, the, the favorite dress. So small things that make the difference. And my job is to put her emotions on the canvas. Wow. I really transfer with my emo uh, empathy. Mm -hmm. I, I try to transfer what I take from the person yeah. and reverse it on the canvas. That's my job. I'm a transfer. <laughs> uh, that's, that's really amazing because what you describe about, you know, sensing who people are, that's, I think that is what most sensitive people do, but I have never met anyone who who had the ability to turn that around and present it to someone in a vis visual way. And yes. I think that's, yeah, that, that's a special talent. So. I hope I have this, uh, this talent. I'm trying to improve and improve each day. And yes, um, and that's, that's life, isn't it? That we do get to improve every day. And sometimes we just have to start. Like you said, you started with landscapes and wasn't sure. Yeah. But as long as we keep 
doing things, keep trying them out, then we'll find the breadcrumbs and then get a new idea or try this and oh, then we like this and then it leads us to where we're supposed to be. I like to think. It's a, it's a learning curve mm -hmm. uh, without any doubt and um, um, and psychology is, is of great help because mm -hmm. in the last months specifically I uh, elaborated a, um, quite a, a psychological approach uh, mm -hmm. based on Jungian psychology and uh, trying to uh, represent women as uh, Greek goddesses Ooh. and using archetypes, yes, yeah. archetypes which are typical of uh, Greek mythology yes. that I love. So, yeah. uh, we can be Athena or Aphrodite mm -hmm. or uh, Persephone, it depends on, yes. uh, on our personality and uh, that's quite a challenge because here I, I add the more, uh, mm -hmm. one more step, I don't limit myself to, mm -hmm. um, to ask for ordinary questions but we go deeper and deeper in a sort of uh, questionnaire yeah. uh, where I try to analyze this archetype yeah. but all with the aim to paint the goddess, no? Mm -hmm. uh, paint the the essence the and the divine side of the feminine but i i don't want to take this like generic because you know there are sort of so many groups talking about divine feminine that i'm quite yeah. fed up yeah 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 and I, I don't think that it has a specific meaning if we don't relate to the single person because we mm. we are unique yes and that's absolutely it. yes I, how are people, when, when they get their, their portraits, do they feel recognized and seen? Because it sounds amazing what you do. <laughs> it's a hard question. I could say yes and no. Mm -hmm. It depends if they are aligned with my perception of reality and my perception of art. Mm. At yes. the beginning, I had a quite unusual and negative experience with a person mm. and she was lovely you know she was a yeah. lovely person mm -hmm. but she 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 wanted to to be beautiful at any cost in the portrait ah. and I really don't know if beauty is something that can be objective rather than subjective no it's quite yeah, a yeah. personal issue mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I, it was a charcoal, a charcoal drawing in that case, not a painting. Mm -hmm. And I did some wrinkles around the eyes. You know, it's yeah. quite normal if you are over fifty uh, years old. <clears throat> yep, it's yep. Natural, <laughs> you know, it's quite natural. We yes. are not like plastic. No, thank and, God. <laughs> no, thank God. Yeah. And so she said, "Oh, why did you do those wrinkles to me?" Oh, I, I was like this because you have them. Yes. <laughs> but not necessarily because I want you I want to paint you as, as a witch no, no. Uh, but basically because life shapes us and you, mm. you can't regret what you are on the basis of a wrinkle and no. it really impressed me and I said okay I should apply my sensitivity to attract the right people yeah yeah. Because uh, you come to uh, that point and then you, you, you have a conflict. No, you, you don't yeah. know how, which road you have to, mm -hmm. to follow to, uh, to conclude the portrait. It was very yeah. hard, I can, I can assure you. Yes, and you have to be hand, true to who you yes, are and yes, what you Yes, you, you have to honor yeah. yourself yeah. and not... But in that case, I had to point out that I had to, <laughs> to honor her rather yeah. than myself. Yeah. And it was... It was maybe the the most um, um, intelligent thing to do yes yes and, uh, and then you learn from that as well yes yes always always and then uh, for example in the latest months happened to me that uh, a man asked mm -hmm. for a portrait for his uh, his wife okay. who was going to celebrate her birthday mm -hmm. and she that was an archetype painting and she was uh, a hero archetype and it means that she she's very focused on marriage and yes. that's the truth so uh, by interviewing him because it was a surprise so yes, I, yes. I was not able to talk to her no. directly uh, I, I realized that and he talked about her 
mm-hmm. um, it told her about the, the surprise painting and she was scared and she told me mm-hmm. l- later she was scared because she didn't feel at ease with her body and with oh. her face oh yeah and I I did my best not to improve her face because she didn't need it really. Mm-hmm. But you know, I, I did my best in um, in painting mm-hmm. without thinking about too much about facial features. Yeah. And then she gave me a wonderful feedback because she said I was scared, but when I saw the painting, mm-hmm. I I saw that you painted me beautiful, and yeah. I'm happy now. So that was very, very good satisfaction for me. And um, yes, and and it must mean that her husband knows her and loves her. If yeah. he could give you that yeah. to paint, yes. I think I think that was a beautiful gift. Yeah. Really beautiful gift. Mm. If you find the right customer, yeah. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Ooh, that's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a small love story. <laughs> it's always okay. <laughs> yes. Everywhere. Yeah. Um, well, n- now I'm curious how your sensitivity played into your life before you found this outlet for it in painting. Mm. You say you're an engineer, and I know that it wasn't always easy for you to deal with being sensitive. Would you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, it's true. Mm. I was a child that um, I was the, a, a very, uh, you know, uh, old fashioned child. And this okay. is a truth. So all the children used to play with each other without mm-hmm. thinking about and worrying about too much. I tended yeah. to stay alone, you know, always alone, yeah. always in a corner. And I showed fear for things that other kids normally love, like fireworks or oh, roller yeah. coaster, for example. Mm-hmm. And even the circus with those loud sounds and light yes. was, for me, disturbing. Yes. And clowns were scary instead of funny. So I manifested very early some traits of eye sensitivity. Mm-hmm. Yes. But I was not aware, of course. I was just strange maybe uh, in the opinion of my mom I don't know I really don't know and I was used to spend a lot of time on my own and Mm -hmm. um, and also for my condition of uh, being an only child uh, I enjoyed a lot my me time and I still do if I can if I can have some me time I'm very happy nowadays too (laughs) and um, by growing up I think that I crashed against my sensitivity Mm -hmm. in uh, quite recent years. And I've always felt that I was able to decrypt somehow the feelings of uh, people around me. So I I can understand when you are okay or when you're wrong. Mm -hmm. Uh, If I cry, I cry more. Yes. If I'm happy, my, I'm more. I am happier than normal. Yes. So mm-hmm. I'm quite um, a step above all the others. Yes, yes. For Everything every, is every enhanced yes. and amplified. Yes, yes. yes. And um, uh, suffering touch me a lot, and um, yeah. I tend to carry on my shoulders feelings of others, both positive and negative. Mm-hmm. This is a fact. Yeah. Um, I discovered what high sensitivity means after uh, meeting um, a bad person and uh, experiencing uh, narcissistic abuse. So I was involved in a a wrong relationship that Mm -hmm. now I recognize as uh, um, a distorted for shape of love, no? Yes. Not an authentic and mutual um, relationship. Mm. But uh, a relationship where the empath, which I am, yes. uh, was the victim yeah. and uh, did everything was in, I, I, I was trying to do everything in my power to make him happy at any yes. cost, yes. but yeah. also neglecting my personality mm-hmm. and putting my voice in a corner to yes. make space for him, mm-hmm. but with no love and no appreciation in return. Mm. And after breaking up with that person, uh, 
I uh, started um, analyzing the behaviors, the recurring behaviors of um, of the situation, because it tended to to have ups and downs, you know, in the yes. relationship. Yes. To attracting and uh, pulling you away. away, attracting yes. and pushing away. So uh, I thought that 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 must have been a reason. And then I studied and read on the internet that something like called narcissism existed. Yes. And then I realized that uh, I was empath, and then I came to the ah. definition of eye sensitivity. It was uh, quite hard. Yes. But yes. Um, doing like this, and books are my best friends for this. Mm-hmm. Um, when you read, uh, you can detach from the problem. No, you you see yeah. the problem from an external point of view, yes. and you say, okay, that's me. Mm-hmm. I can do something to limit the disaster. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, to avoid this to repeat again. That's powerful. Getting yeah. to that point, I think it that's... took me two years. <laughs> oh, there, there are people where, who yeah. stay in those kinds of relationships for decades. So I think that was, I guess something good came from that relationship yeah. out of all the bad stuff, because you got to see yourself in a new way, didn't you? Yes, I was more powerful than I could expect. Yes. And I realized that I was not, yes, maybe I was his victim, but I was the winner in the end. Because at least I had the possibility to change, Mm -hmm. not to change really, because I don't want to change really. I I want to keep this superpower active. Yes. Because it's it's really a superpower because you have, you, you know, the possibility to go deeper in the truth. You can connect to authenticity. You don't stay and see others from a veil. You cut the veil. You unveil the reality. Yes. You can touch the the, the, the core. Mm. And uh, who was the loser? Because he, he will always be like that and will never yes. change. Oh, I hope that he will change somehow. But I don't know. <laughs> not for me and not with me. No, least. no. And... <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, I think we have so much to offer, and I feel sorry for people who, like narcissists, who who seem to have this need to to take their pleasure and their happiness from other people instead of realizing that we all have access to it from the inside. And I think, as sensitive people, we have that sense. Yes, we. I think that when you meet someone like this, you can mm-hmm. recognize him again. That's yes, the, yes, that's the progress we can do. Mm-hmm. And because they are repetitive, they are not original. <laughs> so you can prevent problems if you yes. if if your light inside switch on and say, okay, this is, that's it. I can detect yeah. it. Yes, yes our sixth sense and our mm. feel, uh, it can be very useful for this absolutely once we are. yes and i and i it's my impression that once we find that power in ourselves we're standing stronger in who we are and embracing the sensitivity it, i might be wrong but it's my impression that we are less likely to attract narcissists because they no longer um, they, they can no longer feed off of us if we're better protecting ourselves. Does that match with what you're experiencing? Totally, mm. because now I tend to not losing myself in, uh, you know, in empty relationship, but not only um, about love. That's, that's a good thing also for friendship, because... Yes. Everything that doesn't give you anything can be mm-hmm. avoided because yeah. there are vampires of energy and uh, there is no way to preserve ourselves except uh, building a sort of uh, wall between yeah, and keeping some and distance. Us. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So uh, even in into families, no, 
it's mm -hmm. quite common. Yeah. So it's, and that is the other point when the narcissistic yes. um, relationship uh, uh, stands between uh, the parents and children. That yes. is very, very bad. Uh, uh, yeah. I, will, I did not have in that in my yeah. family, so I'm quite a privileged one. Yes, at least have a boyfriend or a husband you can leave, but a exactly. parent, but a parent you're kind of stuck with for life. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and the sense of guilt uh, increase and increases and increases and, increase and yeah. never ends. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's quite sad. <laughs> yes, yes, but you found your superpower and you yes. found your purpose in your portrait and mm -hmm. i find my my reason to do something which was only for me yes. because having two children and a full-time job i mm -hmm. had forgotten what dedicating some time to myself meant yes and then it happened one time that, okay, let's stop with this. I need to find something which is only mine. Yes. And that's why, uh, why I decided to, to paint. So I didn't find any in-person groups in my town, which is very small. Mm -hmm. So I had to follow some art, art online courses. Uh -huh. Uh, so internet was a precious uh, thing for me and yes. not, without formal education and formal background mm -hmm. I just started and that's why <laughs> that's where I am today so I, I can call myself an artist which is a great step yes. considering you know the building of a self-esteem and self-appreciation which yes. is quite quite difficult if you are sensitive yep. and you yep. depend on other people's judgment mm -hmm. and in this case uh, it took me some time because of course yes. you have to yes. develop yes. your techniques and uh, your voice but definitely I recommend and I suggest that uh, sensitive people like me uh, find not a hobby because the, it's, a, it's a word that doesn't give justice mm -hmm. to the yeah. to the concept but a passion yes. somewhat something that can really be meaningful and can make your life full and yeah. satisfying oh yes like art was for me mm -mm. absolutely and i like how it started out as your gift to yourself that you needed to do something for you and now it turns out that it's actually bringing beauty and happiness to other people as well. I like how that works out. That when yeah, we do good things for ourselves, it spreads and ends up benefiting others as well. You know, it's the first time that I think like this. Yo, so thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even make the connection. But yes, of course. Yes, it's definitely like, like you described. Oh, Yes. Yeah. But it's like expanding, no? You expand yeah. and grow. And All the uh, time. Everything expands. Everything, yeah. yes. And that leads to the last question about how you would like to see the future or what you would like to happen in the future regarding mm. sensitivity or art. Um. When you, okay, yeah, this question, I, I could point out something connected with education in, mm -hmm. at school because yes. I see that a lot of programs in uh, schools are dedicated to the prevention of, uh, you know, bullism and mm -hmm. uh, prevarication among the people and especially mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. And that's what I would emphasize. So the, the modules dedicated to uh, empathy. I yeah. see that, for example, my, my older uh, son is studying empathy at school and um, the teacher is really uh, giving a lot uh, for this. And they also have some, were able to do some drama Mm -hmm. you know, uh, and the uh, simulation of reactions to, uh, okay. okay, to bad behaviors, which yes. is very good. 
Yeah. And um, yes, teaching how to manage empathy and uh, yeah. how to manage this superpower. That mm. would be great if we all were more aware about this. Absolutely. That's what I would add. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I like hearing an actual example that it is happening out there. So thank you for sharing that. That gives me hope. That our in kids stage, get... you do, yeah. I, I will tell you this and um, imagine that you, when he was younger and he went to the kindergarten, mm-hmm. there was um, you know a little a little girl that used to be very bossy to him. Yeah. Okay. And he was not able to to make opposition. Mm-hmm. And then uh, one day he went back home and he was crying and crying. He was desperate. And I asked, what, what, what's the matter? What, what's going on? Oh, because that girl uh, said that blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do this. Come with me and uh, pretend that I am that girl and you have to, re- to answer to my provocation. Yeah. And I said, and so we did some attempts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, also yeah. using drama mm-hmm. and he was able to face for the first time uh, that bad behavior and so empathy is uh, it has to be um, uh, developed and yeah. also the, the managing of empathy has to be developed That's yes it. perfect that's so good to you that gives me hope that our kids get to learn earlier that they don't have to run into stress and depression or bad relationships or anxiety or whatever before they find out how to manage. So thank you for sharing your art and your story and everything. And I hope you will let me post a couple of links to your work maybe so people can can have a look. Of course, I got a website and uh, the link will be provided and you can find me on Facebook and mm-hmm. uh, I have a personal profile and also on LinkedIn, I'm, I'm mm-hmm. quite active. And Great. of course, you can reach me out uh, for everything that you might be interested in and I'm open to commissions and uh, I'm open for talks. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So if anybody wants to continue the conversation with Elisa, then we will provide the links. And for now, yeah. thank you so much for being here. Thank you to you and uh, bye-bye to everyone who is listening to us.